Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm actually making a gift for a friend. I'll be turning this it bag into a Studio Ghibli bag. I'm going to first start out by customizing the nameplate. I do this with paint markers and I like to use clear nail polish with glitter for some extra pizzazz. This also helps to camouflage the original nameplate. I then freehand the lettering and finish it off by sealing it with a clear protectant paint. I'll have the link on how to make a custom nameplate in this video's description below. In the future, I'll be posting another in-depth how to make a custom bag tutorial. I just try and space those type of videos out since it can become repetitive. But for anyone who's new to my channel, just check out the description below. You'll be able to find all my videos that have the in-depth instructions to follow along. I have tutorials on how to prep the fabric, how to make a custom crossbody or mini backpack, and you can find all the links to the products I use and the fabric shops that I like. As far as the backpack itself goes, that's free game. I mainly try to get them from either box lunch or a small retailer when they're on sale. But really, that part's up to you. It doesn't even have to be a lounge fly bag. When watching my videos, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help, and I love seeing what you guys create. I recently had one of my followers show me a bag that they made based on following one of my tutorials, and I was beyond excited and impressed on their very first custom bag. They actually repurposed a spirit jersey that they already had and turned it into a lounge fly mini backpack. I've done this before, and it's a great way to give new life to something old. This backpack could even be an example. My friend had this it bag and she just wasn't in love with it anymore, so rather than have it sit in a closet and not get used, I offered to help her make it into a bag that she would love and get to use again. She's a huge fan of Studio Ghibli and Latchlight just hasn't created an over-the-top Studio Ghibli bag. Now, I know they've made specific fandom ones like Ponyo, My Neighbor Totoro, and Kiki's Delivery Service, but to my knowledge, it's just not an overall umbrella bag for Studio Ghibli. So together, me and my friend browsed the internet and we came across this fabric on Etsy and I have to say the colors go perfectly with this mini backpack. If you wanted to find a fabric that you liked and it's not on one of the sites that I listed, it's literally as easy as you can go on Google or Etsy and type in whatever fandom cotton lycra fabric because that's the base I like to use. So for example, if you wanted a Simpsons mini backpack and was looking for the fabric, just type in Simpsons cotton lycra or cotton spandex fabric and something's bound to pop up. Let's say you're not in love with any of the fabrics available online though, I'll actually put up a video in the future on how I make my custom designs when I can't find one that I'm in love with. Now I will warn you, it's probably a very backwards way of doing things and I'm sure there's some sort of program out there that would make your life 10 times easier. However, I don't know the design programs that the professionals use. I mean, it could even be Photoshop, but for me, cost efficient is great and free is even better. So I use a combination of three free apps in order to create my one design. I'll post some examples of the designs that I have created, but again, it's definitely for a future video, which will basically be screen recording the process of me designing it. Speaking of fabric, for those of you who do make custom bags, a great way to use any leftover fabric you have is by turning it into scrunchies, pet bandanas, or any other smaller project. There's even a couple of Facebook fabric de-stash groups if you wanted to sell your leftovers for someone else to use, that's another great option. I have to admit, while making this bag, it's really making me want to check out some of these animations. For the majority, I haven't seen most of them, but I can remember watching My Neighbor Totoro when I was a child. And I can even remember going into Hot Topic when I was in middle school and seeing t-shirts with Totoro or Cat Bus on it. Back then, I couldn't afford any of that stuff though, but as an adult, I recently bought the ramen bowl from Box Lunch that has the soot sprites on it. I think I'm more so just remembering the characters instead of the actual storyline itself because it's definitely been a minute since I've watched it. I feel like rewatching stuff as an adult that you remember from your childhood just hits differently, so needless to say, after finishing this bag, I'm definitely going to check out some of the Studio Ghibli animations. Let me know if you have a favorite and which ones I should watch. Before I finish up with this bag, I just want to point out that those red balloons that were on the original bag are debossed and the green trees on the bottom are actually embroidered. Luckily though, they were pretty flush with the bag, so I didn't have to alter any of it, and instead I got to continue as if it was a normal flat face bag, prep it with the white leather paint, glue, cut, tuck, and repeat. And lastly, cutting out the hole for our custom metal plate, we're now finished, so let's check out our custom completed project. Here it is. What do you guys think? I think the colors on this are so playful, and I had fun making this bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for hanging out with me, and if you want, feel free to like and subscribe, and until next time, bye friends.